Surah Al-Ankabut, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the parable of the spider. He states, مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ اتَّخَذُوا مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ أَوْنِيَاءَ كَمَثَلِ الْعَنْكَبُوتِ اتَّخَذَتْ بَيْتًا وَإِنَّ أَوْهَنَ الْبُيُوتِ لَبَيْتُ الْأَنْكَبُوتِ وَإِنَّ أَوْهَنَ الْبُيُوتِ لَبَيْتُ الْعَنْكَبُوتِ لَوْ كَانُوا يَعْلَمُونَ Another parable, another example. Our Supreme Maker, he states, The example, the parable, the simile of those who take awliya, who take protectors, who take friends, who take allies other than Allah, other than Allah is that of the spider who builds to itself a house. I'm giving you the direct translation and then I'll expound on it inshallah. It's a mind-blowing ayah. The example of those who take protectors, those who take allies, those who take friends other than Allah. In the sense when we say awliya here, what we mean is if you take someone else as a protector other than Allah, that's the meaning here. You can have friends, you can have allies as long as you're not replacing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are those who take others other than Allah. They ascribe partners along with Allah or they replace Allah with something else. Al-Iyadu Billah. The example of such individuals is that of the spider that builds to itself a house. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions something interesting. وَإِنَّ أَوْهَنَ الْبُيُوتِ لَبَيْتُ الْعَنْكَبُوتِ The most unreliable the most unreliable of houses is the house of the spider. لَوْ كَانُوا يَعْلَمُونَ If they but knew. The example of the people who take protectors other than Allah is like people who take refuge in a house. They go into a house and it is like that of a spider building itself a house. Now you know the spider's house is not a big mansion. It's a mere cobweb. It's a mere cobweb. That's the house of a spider. And then Allah goes on to say that the most unreliable of houses, the most unreliable of houses is the house of a spider. لَوْ كَانُوا يَعْلَمُونَ If they only knew. Now we need to understand what a house is. Think of your own house. A house is a place of protection. A house, the place that you call home, is a place of refuge. That's where you go at the end of the day, when you're tired, when you want to go back home, you go home to your house where you feel safe, you feel protected, you feel at ease, you feel warmth, you feel comfort. That's what is known as a house. But here in the ayah, Allah says the most unreliable of houses is the house of a spider. Why? Because the cobweb is not a house of safety, it is not a house of warmth, it is not a house of comfort. First and foremost, it is flimsy in nature. And more importantly, it is a deadly trap. It is a deadly trap. The spider weaves it not to seek protection in it, but rather to trap other insects and to gobble up other insects. So the house of a spider, the cobweb is a deadly trap. It is so deadly that it is not even safe for its own inhabitants. Subhanallah. Now you might be thinking, the spider is the inhabitant of the cobweb. So it's obviously safe for the spider. But science proves that a cobweb is not even safe for the spider. And the ayah 1400 odd years ago highlight this because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when talking about the spider, look at the, the verb that is used in the ayah. Allah is talking about the female spider in the ayah. The translations that we have very loosely translate the ayah as spider. But in reality, Allah is specifically talking about the female spider. When the female spider weaves the cobwebs. So we have a few scientific points to be highlighted here. Primarily, science proves that the female spider is the spider that generally weaves cobwebs. Male spiders also do weave, but their weaving is not that great. And they don't weave most of the time. The female spider is the spider that weaves the cobwebs. That's number one. 
And number two, the female spider in general is known to be two, three or four times larger than the male spider. And number three, it is the norm in the spider world, okay, that when two spiders mate, when the male spider and the female spider mates, when they have sexual intercourse, which is something normal, what happens is, the male spider, right after intercourse, is supposed to flee, listen to me attentive, is supposed to flee for its life, failing if it gets caught in the cobweb, the female spider eats up the male spider. Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah, we are not in marriages like that, where our partners eat us up alive. Maybe metaphorically they do, but not really. In the cobweb, the female spider runs after the male spider. And the male spider has to make it out on time. SubhanAllah, look at the stress. Right after sexual intercourse, the male spider has to run out of its own house. Now, can you think of this house as being a place of protection? The male spider needs to run before the female spider catches up and eats it up alive. Now, this is why Allah is saying, Inna The most unreliable of houses is the house of a spider. If they but knew. Now, modern day science is proving this after so much of study. You need microscopes, you need to go into the cobweb to know all of these funny, funny activities that are taking place. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions this 1400 odd years ago. Now, coming back to the lesson in the ayah, if you take a protector other than Allah, then it is like you're going into the house of a spider and seeking protection. True protection, true refuge is by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.